Okay, folks, this lesson is about the new gradient features in Adobe Illustrator CS4. And to talk about that, I created this document, this welcome sign, and I created two gradients. One, a radial gradient that you see here of this uh, sort of like this peacock structure, I guess you'd call it. And the other one is a linear gradient that I applied to this background right here. If we go to the Layers palette and turn off some of these layers, It'll isolate this background layer and give us a chance to talk about it in depth. Let me open up the gradient palette and you'll see what you always saw in Adobe Illustrator. And that's the gradient slider, okay, with the color stops and the midway points for the color stops and the angle of the gradient and the type of gradient. Those are all the same. What's different is this drop down menu right here, which lets you select any gradient that's in your swatches palette. Oh, let me show you this while I'm at it. You can show just the gradient swatches by checking that. So anyway, you can select any of your gradient swatches now directly from the gradient palette. Let me show you. Okay. But now, let me show you the best feature, folks, and that is the ability to effectively put this gradient slider right into your document and to do that all you gotta do is click on your gradient tool and there it is now it is so much easier to edit your gradient it's unbelievable just get close to it and there's your gradient slider okay you can still make any edit you want for instance let's get rid of this uh, color stop right here let's modify the position of this stop Let's change the color of this stop by double clicking on it. That opens up the swatches and or the color palette. You can modify the color directly from here. All right, you can change the, let me go back a few steps. You can modify, and let me zoom out for this. You can modify the position of the gradient, the length of the gradient. You can modify the angle. You, you see as you get close to this up here, you get the little rotate tool. allows you to change the angle of the gradient. You can see it updating right here in your gradient palette. And um, the other thing you can do is modify the opacity of a gradient stop from right here. And I'm going to show you that coming up right now. Let me first revert the document back to its original state. All right, let's go to the layers palette again and shut off some of these layers. And let's shut off this clipping mask right here so you can see the whole of the uh, peacock's tail right here. Then let's open up the gradient palette. First select it. And now you can see these two stops right here. And you can see on what this is, first of all, folks, this is the same color, okay? I just duplicated this color, and then to this one I applied an opacity adjustment, and that's indicated by this little nub right here. If I get the gradient tool, you'll see it repeated right here, and this is it. This is the one that has a opacity adjustment applied to it. You can see that little nub again right there. Let me double-click on it, and you can see you can adjust the opacity from right here, right from the gradient tool. It's really, really handy. Okay. The other things you can do are um, you can adjust the angle from here. You can adjust the, uh, this is new, you can adjust the velocity, the amount of ovalunculars to this ellipse. Okay. You can still adjust the size and where the stops are and the colors of the stops and and all of that. So there you have it folks. In a nutshell, the new gradient features inside Adobe Illustrator CS4.